Hey all and welcome to the next blending moat lesson in the blending moat class at Hummies World. And I am excited. We're actually to my favorite blending mode of all the blending modes, and that is the soft light blending mode. Now, um, hopefully you've been following um, from the beginning. We started at the top of the blending modes, and we went right through them, and we're all the way down to soft light. And if you haven't, um, go back and watch the other ones. Uh, and um, it will help explain about the math and you'll know better why this is my favorite. Um, you will remember that the two most used are the multiply and the screen. The multiply fixes un overexposed images and makes everything darker, so sweet. And this screen blending mode fixes underexposed images images and makes them lighter and it's wonderful and the overlay blending mode is probably one of the most popular blending modes because it uses both the multiply and the screen so what does the soft light do the soft light is a softer version of the overlay and so the overlay where it's perfect to fix everything the soft light does the same thing but then it kind of softens it I'm not sure what the math is but um, it has no change if the top layer is 50% gray that's the same thing that we saw in the overlay which we're going to look at here in the soft light again but um, sometimes for me the overlay is just too harsh but the soft light is just just perfect you know it's like um, you know what's too big it's like Goldilocks and the three bears and something's too big and something's in the middle and something's just right and that's our soft light you know we've got something you know too dark and too light and we have some we have four things here <laughs> we have something wonderful and then we have something just right okay I've shown you my excitement enough um, so let's go looking at this graphic that we've looked at with all of the lessons and I'm going to change it to the overlay and you remember that this is what it did and it the 50% gray had no change to it, but everything else did. The darks got darker, the lights got lighter, everything got fixed. Let's take it and go from there to the soft light. And you see how beautiful it is, <laughs> how wonderful the colors are. The lighters get light, the darkers get dark. The 50% gray doesn't do anything, but we don't have very much 50% gray because immediately on either side of that by one um, number up or down it begins uh, changing again and it just is pleasing see where you have the overlay the colors are more harsher they're not as pleasing and then you go back to the soft light and you go ah just right okay am I crazy Anyway, if you can't get any of the blending modes to work for you, you should be able to get this one to work. And let's look at what I did with it. Here is my image, and I had a lot of fun. And as with all of uh, these, I've been trying to show you little tips and things that you can maybe do with your images. Um, we're all using the same texture that I'm giving out on my website and then we're all sharing our results and you can use the tips from this video or you can use them from any of the previous videos that you've learned and you're in your playing and so let's deconstruct and reconstruct this here's my original image taken in Minneapolis <coughs> uh, Minnesota uh, just a close-up of um, some pond grass and a pond <coughs> that I thought went great with the text I chose and um, we're gonna 
uh, look at that later. And here is, let's put this back to normal. Here is the texture I use. Now, <laughs> it look ugly. <laughs> it looks kind of ugly. Uh, they, those were just pieces of uh, a um, uh, mailing package that had kind of bubbles in it that I ripped apart and tore on there. And then I think, um, I don't remember, but these here were just pieces of paper I told, tore out of an old card. I think there's actually a bird with flowers on it here. See the little flowers <laughs> and a tree off of an old car card and and uh, I just plopped them on there. But you saw how beautiful it made my image and you too can use this two uglies to make something beautiful. Isn't that what uh, they say? So we're going to reconstruct this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this so I can keep my original. And, uh, you know, these three were my original. So we're reconstructing. So I've got a new copy of it. And I'm going to change that to my soft blending mode. And you can see, watch what it does with the overlay. See, with the overlay, you see too uh, much of the textures, which you may want that grungy cool texture on something and this may be uh, the right uh, one for that but the soft blending mode I told you if you can't get it with the soft blending mode <laughs> you can't get it but let's do the before and then the after you see it kind of makes the um, colors uh, pop out. It's brighter and it's like all the exposures are fixed even with that weird texture shape. So I added my text and actually when I added my text um, I also changed it to the soft li uh, light. And so here's the regular text. It is in black and I changed that to the soft light and when you zoom in, you can see that it is actually blending right into the photo below. But then I went ahead and I added a stroke and a drop shadow so that the text was readable. And that made it pretty artistic. And we used the same blending mode. So what did I do next? Well, I have my hook. And the hook is normal it doesn't have a blending mode on it I decided uh, to leave that um, but that worked with the the quote of even a fish wouldn't get into trouble if he kept his mouth shut I just I love that sometimes I just need to keep my mouth shut so what did I do to make the rest of it artistic well I hit control J on my keyboard to duplicate that and so it's still a soft light I duplicated this time. I think previously I duplicated my photo. You could duplicate your photo, but for me this time I did the actual texture layer. Now to duplicate you can also drag it down to the new layer icon. Then um, you need to, I'm in the full version of Photoshop for this class, and, but Photoshop Elements users, um, if you've been doing all of my tutorials, you should be able to do um, the same thing. And if you need me to link you up to the tutorial that shows you how to do this in your program, please ask. But in the full version, I'm going to go to the Edit drop-down menu, Transform, and I just rotated it um, 90 degrees. Oh, well, not my text. I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, rotate it. 90 degrees my texture and you can see immediately I got more yummy blending um, and then I simply made it smaller my layer smaller and I added a drop shadow to it now I added a pretty uh, you want to keep your distance down because when you get your distance up too high then it's only showing on these two edges so keep your distance low so it shows you see up here on all edges edges um, I don't remember exactly where I was at and then up your spread and 
your size and I upped it pretty far you can do whatever you're comfortable with uh, but you can see if I do the distance it takes it off this edge up here and doesn't make it as uniform keep your distance down to one two three it's on five right now which is still okay too so there you go that added to it and made it even more artistic but I decided to try it again and I hit control J and edit and transform and 90 degrees again and then I brought it this time it already has the drop shadow on it and I brought it in some more so um, it's not quite as good as my original because <laughs> that took more time to line things up in my original but um, there you have it that's all I did so I have the soft blending mode on three I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off and go back to my originals so I have the soft blending mode soft light blending mode on three layers on this one and then this one with the drop shadow and rotated and then this one with the drop shadow and rotated again it looks like I just noticed on the third one I did lower the opacity some because I thought it was taking away a little bit of the uh, um, it was getting too light taking away a little bit of what the picture was all about and so um, that's it that's all I did to make my image but isn't it amazing how you can use one texture a little bit of text I did add my hook this time uh, but one texture and one um, blending mode and one photo to make something really cool I am anxious to see what you do with this to take this kind of ugly texture and turn it into something beautiful kind of like I did Hurry up, go do your lesson. Bye.